Yeah, we're dealing with some pretty low water levels here. Right now I'm on Upper Falls just near the dam. If you look around me, you can see I'm standing on a bit of an island of rocks here. Now, typically I'd be swimming where I'm standing right now, but instead I'm on this pile of rocks right in the middle of the river. It's a difference of about five and a half feet. For the past week and a half, the Spokane River under the Division Street Bridge and about four miles east has been a lot lower than normal for this time of year. But no cause for concern. Avista workers are working on the other side of this gate for a maintenance project on one of the dams. In order to create safe working conditions for them, we had to reduce some of the pressure off of the spill gate. So they ran the water down a bit. We increased the amount of flow that goes through our powerhouse. Meaning they pulled more of the river into the powerhouse before it got to this section. Lenny says it's rare for the company to have to lower the river, but this two week project required it. It took about two days and crews did it slowly to make sure the water changes wouldn't affect any of the animals living in the area. You don't ever want to get in a situation where you draw it down too quickly because the shoreline might become unstable or you could strand some fish that are normally accessing areas and then they're in an area where there's not enough water for them. So now that the water is low, the city has also been taking advantage. Yesterday, city workers did a river cleanup and just pull off some of the garbage that we are seeing along the river uh, that's normally not exposed. The shoreline wasn't accessible normally, so get a great opportunity to do that. And there will be another cleanup tomorrow that's open to the entire community. This repair project is set to finish early next week, so you should see the river getting back to its normal height then. In Spokane, Shana Walltower, Crime 2 News.